What's up guys, Adrian here and welcome to another video where I discuss Canadian stock picks specifically geared towards income investors who are looking for uh, great stocks in order to build their passive income stream. So today I want to talk to you about real estate. One of my favorite sectors to invest in and boy there are a lot of opportunities right now. Uh, real estate has taken a pretty big hit because of the COVID-19 recession which is still ongoing uh, which is driving real estate stocks down especially commercial sectors like office and uh, retail so this is why I decided to make a quick video and share my top three uh, REIT stock picks where I think there was an exaggerated and unwarranted sell-off which means it's a great buying opportunity for us income investors to buy and hold these stocks for the long term and collect the checks along the way Don't forget guys, when the stock price of a REIT or any other dividend stock for that matter goes down significantly, the dividend yield, think of that as the interest rate, right? It goes up significantly. So buying shares at these discounted levels means locking in a much higher dividend yield. So the more experience um, I get watching the stock market and its behavior, the more I appreciate and really understand the famous words of wisdom from legendary investor Warren Buffett when he said, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful so this statement basically points out that us humans are still dumb in nature and we tend to have herd mentality which means we are easily influenced uh, by the media our peers our parents religion and society in general to make certain choices and have certain beliefs so this causes us to make decisions based on emotion rather than logic or reason so this is true also for investing just look at what happened to the tech, uh, the tech sector lately uh, in the last couple of months. Uh, all, that's all investors were talking about. That's all there was in the media. That's where all the buzz was at. And this caused a lot of buying and drove up uh, tech stocks to new records. But then it reversed course uh, recently in the last couple of weeks and a sh sharp sell-off uh, occurred and is still occurring right now, disappointing a lot of investors who invested when the stocks were at their peak. So when it comes to REITs, especially office and retail, it's the exact opposite right now. Investors are literally running scared. They think that nobody will go back to the office, offices will be extinct. Same exaggerated thinking when it comes to the retail sector. So when I see this, I always remember Buffett's words and automatically look for buying opportunities. Yes, we need to be greedy right now because in the end, there's always a very small window on these buying opportunities before people catch on and it's too late. Now you might be thinking when a dividend yield gets too high, is the dividend at risk to be cut or reduced? Well, of course, that's always a possibility, but don't forget that when it comes to REITs, the dividend is funded entirely by the rental income the REITs properties generate. So the thing to look for when it comes to REITs is the payout ratio. This is the key stat uh, which tells you how much of the REIT's rental income is being paid out in dividends. Anything over 100% means they are overpaying and the rental income is not enough to cover the dividend. This is actually not that uncommon uh, when it comes to REITs for them to have a payout ratio uh, a little over 100%. However, if it's over 100% for a long time, you can probably expect a dividend reduction soon. So although there's plenty of choices out there right now when it comes to discounted REIT stocks, here are my top three picks for maximum value and maximum income. Pick number one is Slate Office REIT. The stock symbol is SOT.UN. So today, September 23rd, it's actually down uh, 4%. And if we look at the dividend yield, it's absolutely enormous. It's at 11%, a little over 11% right now. So what are the main reasons? Why, do I, why is this one of my top picks? Well, if we go to their investor uh, presentation update for Q2 uh, 2020 and um, check out the third page, you could see the main reason right here. It's it's their payout ratio so it's only 61.9% so they're only paying out 61.9% uh, of their rent in dividends so it's a very very low and conservative payout ratio one of the most conservative that I've ever seen when it comes to a REIT honestly 
And another good thing is their uh, rent collections uh, during uh, COVID. So you could see here that well above average, their rent collections have been 96 to 97%, really, really high, really, really good. Um, also their tenants, so they have really high quality tenants that uh, rent their office space. 61% of, of their tenants are government and credit rated tenants, which means they, you know, it's companies and, and, and institutions that have no problems paying the rent every month. You could see a little bit more detail on page nine. Some of their top uh, tenants include CIBC, Bell Canada, the government of Canada, uh, the government of New Brunswick, the government of Nova Scotia. So we're talking about really, really uh, high quality tenants. So put all these factors together. And I think this is a really, really uh, good pickup. You're getting 11% uh, yield uh, and they're only, their payout ratio is very low, which means they are probably be able to sustain their dividend at this level for a really long time. So a great pickup here. So pick number two is Rio Can Real Estate Investment Trust. So this, unlike Slate Office REIT, is a very big and well-known Canadian REIT. It's actually one of the biggest in Canada. So as you could see from the stock price, it's also down today, minus 3% at $13.95. And just look at the damage it took because of COVID. If you look at the 52-week range, it was actually 20, almost a $28 stock. It went to $12.41, and now it's at $13.95. So a really really good uh, time to pick it up here very very cheap and this one also if you look at the dividend yield it's at an enormous 10.32 percent so pretty crazy uh, when it comes to real can, can a really solid read uh, so a great time to pick it up and if we look at their investor uh, presentation for q2 uh, which came out recently sorry came out in july 2020 so you have all the information here on RealCan and their business. And a couple of uh, things I want to point out with RealCan is that they focus on the six biggest uh, Canadian cities in Canada, Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver, uh, Montreal, Ottawa, but especially Toronto. That's where 52% of their properties are. So they have really high and desirable real estate in the, the biggest cities in uh, in Canada, you could also see a little bit here their uh, their uh, where their rent comes from. So you see, 42% it comes from grocery anchored uh, retail, uh, which is essential services. So they have a really good mix. Uh, of uh, of tenants, they don't have it all concentrated with one with, with a couple of tenants, which is uh, really really good. Uh, also, if you scroll down to the rent collections now on page eight, you could see that um, it's been increasing. It's at 85% in July. So uh, rents are increasing. This is a good sign now that businesses are opening up. And you could see here for Q2 that 87% of rent in total is accounted for if you count uh, deferrals and um, the government uh, program. So 87% of rent received, still really, really good, pretty high. Uh, if you ask me also page nine this is where the key factor is for me here is once again the payout ratio you see here that the payout ratio is well under 100 percent here it's 83.2 percent so yes they have a payout ratio target to be under 80 percent it's a little over that right now but 83.2 it just means that they're still able to easily sustain their dividend uh, with a payout ratio of 83.2 uh, percent uh, another cool thing is that Eurocan is known for their uh, ESG performance. So if you scroll all the way down to uh, page 28 here, you could see that they're a leader when it comes to uh, ESG, uh, something, uh, you know, environmental, social, and corporate government. So this is something that a lot of younger millennial investors look for. So they have a really good score when it comes to uh, ESG. So another positive, but for me, the key the takeaway is still the payout ratio. It's well under 100% which means that they're able to afford their dividend. So like we saw from the stock price here of $13.95, it's really, really at the low end of the 52-week range, which means it's a great time to pick this one up right away. All right, so my third and final pick is Brookfield Property Partners LP. The stock symbol is uh, bpy.un. Uh, 
So uh, as you could see from the stock price of $14.33 today, it's well off their uh, one year high of $27.25, so a really steep discount. The dividend yield is absolutely enormous. It's uh, over 12% right now. And as you can see from the market cap, it's also a very, very big company. It's actually managed by a huge asset manager, uh, Brookfield uh, Asset Management. So a really solid asset manager. Uh, one thing to note uh, is that this company or this REIT pays out their dividend in US dollars. So the 12.21% includes the conversion to Canadian and it, they pay it out uh, quarterly instead of uh, monthly. So a couple of reasons why I really like uh, this pick is uh, number one, they have a good tendency of increasing their dividend over the years. If we look at the five year history, um, you could see that clearly here from $1.06 uh, in 2015 to $1.12 in uh, 2016 and so forth and so forth. And today it's at $1.33. So I don't expect them uh, with the whole COVID going on to, uh, to increase it anytime soon, but it's still a good sign to know that they consistently increase their dividend. Uh, another good sign is that they've been uh, buying back a lot of their shares recently. So they just finished a first round of uh, on September 2nd uh, for share buybacks. You can see that here if you actually open the ink report, which is um, you know, complimentary to, the, to my TD broker here, you can see that they've been uh, buying back a lot of their shares. So uh, this just means that they also feel that their stock is undervalued. So when they when the company buys back their shares, uh, it removes the shares from the public market, which tends to drive the, the, the stock price up eventually. So they feel so strongly about it that it's still cheap that they actually renewed the share buy, uh, buyback program. You could see here that they, it, the news came out September 11 that they renewed their normal course issuer bid. That's just a fancy way of saying share buyback. They also announced that they're laying off 20 percent of their workforce uh, pretty unfortunate for the workforce but uh, for investors it's usually a, a good sign it usually means you know they're cutting costs so they're they're prudent with their money so that's also a good sign when it comes to their payout ratio the latest figure uh, from their q2 presentation is that the payout ratio currently is at 100 percent so it is sustainable right now just barely though um you know it's flirting with that 100 percent uh ratio but um you know even if they let's say they cut the dividend by 25 percent you're still making over eight percent dividend yield which is this is why uh, i'm really not worried and i think this is a great pickup to buy right now um simply fantastic uh discount right now on this big uh, and well-managed uh, REIT so that's it guys, those are my top three REIT picks during this very exciting time for us value income investors. The average yield between the three picks is well over 10% right now. So of course you need to keep in mind that uh, although it's unlikely in my opinion, a dividend reduction um, is possible, especially for Brookfield maybe, uh, if this COVID-19 damage isn't mitigated soon. Definitely a lot of fear, uh, market fear in the air right now when it comes to real estate, but in in my opinion i think it's exaggerated so let's take advantage of the fear and not be part of it worst comes to worst let's say they reduce the dividend by 25 percent which is a pretty big cut well that means you would still get a dividend of over seven and a half percent which is still great so thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it please hit that like button and stay tuned for my october picks of the month which will be released next week so with that Take care and see you next time.